Is this pie-billed grebe the cutest duck you ever... Uh, oh, wait. He's not a duck. You know that old saw, if it quacks like a duck? Well, he doesn't quack like a duck or walk like one. And he doesn't have webbed feet. He has lobed toes. Think of your earlobe and then imagine something that fleshy, only weirder looking, on his toes. The foot looks like an oversized clown glove. Too floppy you'd think to propel even a paper sailboat through the water. Don't be fooled though, there's strength in there. And those flattened lobes slice through the water. His feet and legs are placed so far back on his body that the Latin word for grebe literally translates as rump foot. As a result of this rear placement, on land he almost looks like a paraplegic the way he drags himself along. So he seldom goes on land. In the water, though, he's swift and adroit. So nimble a diver that he's nicknamed Hell Diver. And in addition to his diving, he has this nifty trick for avoiding predators. He just sinks out of sight. He does it by expelling air from between his feathers and from air sacs. Then he swims underwater to some reeds and effectively hides. He's a very secretive little bird, but aggressive when he's chasing fish. Those legs on the back of his body can swivel every which way but loose so that underwater, he zigs when the fish does and zags fast enough to snag it. But this maneuverability comes at a cost. While a mallard, for instance, can practically hop straight into the air like a helicopter, a grape has a harder time lifting off. He needs a long runway. But it's a fair trade-off. As you watch this again, notice how instantaneous his stop is. That's the kind of control those feet give him in the water. One second he's at breakneck speed, the next second it's as if that flight never happened. I'll tell you something though. He doesn't give a rat's patootie whether you admire his prowess in the water or not. As far as he's concerned, humans are just something to avoid.